those interested in pursuing careers in the health sector will no longer have to go to other towns to pursue nursing courses. Officiating at the opening of the Velvicha Health Training Campus in Katima Mulilo, co-founder and rector of the school, Scholastica Ipinge says the school is the first in the Zambezi region to offer a nursing degree, thus promoting training of more nurses in the region. She further announced that certificate courses will be introduced at the campus in the fields of nursing and midwifery, environmental health sciences, pharmacy and foundational health science. Ipinge further encouraged school leavers, especially grade 11 learners under the new curriculum, who failed to progress to grade 12 to apply for the school's offered 15-month bridging course designed to equip them for any subsequent course offered at the school. Applications for this program was extended by one week and applicants are urged to apply online as soon as possible. We would like to call upon the regional leaders and community members to also take note of the Diploma in Environmental Health Sciences, which is a program which is not that known by most applicants, but very important for public health practices. This program, just like all other of our programs, has a 100% rate of employment. And for the Diploma in Environmental Health, we need to sensitize our learners and all our school leavers to enroll as it has a huge demand in the job market for public health practices. Guest speaker at the event and secretary to cabinet, Dr. George Simata, noted that the development of human resources in the health sector is critical to Namibia, especially considering the COVID-19 pandemic and its effects. I am pleased to know that WHTC has also heavily invested in research and development, very important area, innovation and technology solution, industry and community service, continuous professional development and training and capacity development for its corporations. The Zambezi Health Director Agnes Limbo welcomed the new development and pledged the government's commitment to obtain an adequate number of health workers to respond to the country's needs. Our capable doctors and nurses will continue supporting these students as they come for their practicals. We thank you. Together we can make it. And together let's put forward for universal health coverage. 